Welcome to part three of a six-part series about creating automatic web traffic reports. For other videos in this series, check out the links in the description. But for now, let's dive back in. You've installed the Google Analytics add-on and created a new report. In this step, you will use a custom menu to gather data about your website's performance over the course of time. You will pull data about this week, last week, this year, and last year. This tool will also tell you which browsers people most commonly use to view your website and where these people are located. This information can help you decide how to use your marketing budget or what changes to make on your site. Since you copied this spreadsheet from the starter project linked in the instructions, the sheet already contains app script code that gathers data about your website traffic. For example, you may notice a new menu in the spreadsheet toolbar. Open the script editor to view the code that created this menu. This code contains three instructions that you will use to create your dashboard. The first section of code uses a trigger. A trigger directs app script to run a function automatically when a certain event, like opening a document, occurs. This trigger is called onOpen. It begins a certain action as soon as the spreadsheet is opened. In this case, the trigger creates a custom menu upon the opening of the spreadsheet. The menu should be called Analytics Helper. The code also populates the menu with options. This menu will contain the options Set Up Data and Create Summary. The second portion of the code runs the function that was added to the menu in the first part of the code. As you saw above, the code added a menu option called Set Up Data. This function designs the spreadsheet with prearranged instructions for arranging information from Google Analytics. To see this code at work, you first need to grant permission for your app script code to run. This only happens the very first time you run the script. Now that Google Analytics can connect to your spreadsheet, set up the data. Google Sheets will complete a report that details your page views over time, the top browsers responsible for those views, and the top countries where people view your site. To create this manually, you would need to copy the information from the first column and adjust all of the figures cell by cell. However, with only a small bit of code, you can automate this setup process so that you can find the right information quickly. The second portion of the code contains instructions for modifying the data in the spreadsheet. For example, it instructs the sheet to modify the title in cell G2 so that it says, Top Countries. The code also gathers information by creating a series of formulas in the spreadsheet. For example, this formula identifies the current date. Now, use the information designed by the code to run a new report. When the report is complete, the Google Analytics add-on creates six new tabs. Each tab displays data based on the report configuration you created in the previous step. By completing this section, you have accessed the custom analytics helper menu designed by the code, given your permission for Google Analytics to work with your spreadsheet, and used the custom menu to set up the data and run a report. Then move on to the next video to create a report dashboard.